Hey everyone, DJ Guide here, and today I'm showing you a tutorial on how to utilize the new Easter egg in Serato Scratch Live 1.8.2. Um, now, I don't know if you know this, but uh, Serato gave out hints that the new Easter egg was involving a virtual role as my Pioneer uh, DJM 400 does. And sure, sure enough, it's there. Here's what you do to enable this feature. You're going to go down here to new crate and you're going to rename the crate this oh wait this is how I roll I don't know if you can read that but yeah it says this is how I roll and now it would show up, it was there, I believe. There's a message that pops up here that says uh, roll feature enabled or something like that. And now all you have to do is on your keyboard, press alt and then your number pad. So right now it has this little bar over here enabled and I could change the loop all the way as quick as half a beat all the way to eight, eight beats. And then to disable it, you just press the key that you had the loop on again. Now, if you notice the timing on all these loops, oh wait, hang on. There you go. So right now, I have a two-beat loop going. Basically, it's an auto loop feature, but it is called a roll because that's what basically a roll is. But now, when I disable that roll, it, if you look at the timing here, let me do that again. it continues on. It doesn't go back to the beginning of the loop. This is because it's a roll feature. Um, basically what roll does is capture the beginning of uh, a little portion of a song, repeats it over and over and over again until you don't want it to happen again, and then it exits at the end, or where you normally would be in the song, as if it was just playing and you didn't have the effect going. So there you go. A quick tutorial on how to use the new Easter egg feature in Star Scratch Live 1.8.2. Practice and enjoy.